this spirit brush, just brushing.
energies. <clears throat> the energies that are coming in to do your healing is the hummingbird inviting in the energy of hummingbird. And maybe you do this in your mind's eye. Sense, feel, or imagine that the hummingbird is flying in from the north. And these beautiful birds, their wings a little bit like the hum of a helicopter or the, the light hum of, what is it like? Like a beetle or like a bee's wing. This delicate vibration surrounding your body, flying in over you very softly. And maybe you have one hummingbird, maybe you have a whole tribe of hummingbirds and their beautiful colors as they fly in to your energy body. Just notice where they fly. Yeah, for me, the hummingbird energy wants to enter through your crown. So inviting the energy in through the top of your head. Inviting the hummingbird light codes to weave in through your crown energy. And they want to spiral around your system in an anti-clockwise motion, bringing in sacred wisdom light codes. You're going to weave in this light It's coming in sacred geometry, so the most beautiful patterns that you could ever imagine. Weaving in these beautiful patterns like a tapestry all around your energy field. And as the hummingbird is bringing these light codes, accepting the new information for your highest good, and maybe you hold a mantra in your head, I accept and integrate all light codes for my highest good right now that you can integrate and accept what is of service to you. What do you need? Extra energy in your life right now. And bringing in the light codes for whatever you need them for. Integrating anything into certain parts of your body. Maybe your organs need a bit of extra energy. Inviting this energy into your heart space to invigorate the heart center with new consciousness. Inviting it in with this beautiful data, imprinting all of this wisdom information. Beautiful. It's like sewing it in through your cells, weaving it in. Now I have the weaving in the in the heart space. It's like the infinity symbol. So if you imagine it, it's sewing in uh, figures of eight coming into the heart space one way, doing a figure of eight horizontally as it weaves in this beautiful intelligent consciousness for your highest good, bringing in upgrades and light codes. Beautiful. And then it's going to weave vertically. Beautiful. Weaving this energy in vertically. Yeah. So we've done vertically, horizontally. And keep spiraling this figure of eight however it likes to move. So it's going to become like the flower of life. Like a 3D orb in your heart space. You just keep imagining this figure of eight. These hummingbirds are weaving and flying. In this 
this figure of eight and he keeps moving vertically, horizontally and the angle, the gradient moves ever so slightly each time the new eight is created so that it creates a sphere and it goes all the way around these beautiful energies Noticing it fly to your back. And the last part is the hummingbird energy wants to come up your spine. Integrate this energy into the bones of your spine, infusing it with these upgraded light codes with this message. Beautiful. This is upgrading your DNA. Using your physical body, your energy body, coming through with information from your highest good, from your higher self, from your soul, and allowing that hummingbird to fly it all the way up your spine, accepting this energy for your highest good, accepting what is here for you upgrades and light codes for you all the way into each vertebra as this hummingbird like vibrates up your spine with its wings fluttering so so quickly really quick buzzing energy all the way up your spine
shows you a metaphor that you just follow this animal just create an imaginary story she reveals something from your unconscious that is helpful to you right now what does the zebra want to show you through the zebra energy for me for the collective is I have the vision of the zebra on uh, rearing up on its hind legs and it stomps its hooves down and blows hot air out of its nostrils you know like this and the the metaphor I take from that is that the it's she's asking the collective to really step into their personal power right now and maybe there are some boundaries that need to be set with energies in your life right now there is a clear no and a stop and just a discernment of like you will not pass here so if there is anything in your life right now where you feel this boundary to certain energies would be helpful, then invite the zebra energy in to help you with that. That this zebra warrior is going to integrate in your field so that you find this energetic boundary very easy. That you invite her to say, please set this for me, set this wall, set this boundary, protect my energy. And then it's easier for you to reinforce that and for you to meet that. And if you need it in connection with any people, all you need to do is, is invite in, in your mind's eye, the 
zebra to be with you. Call the zebra. You can imagine being one. You can imagine riding on one. You can imagine one is just standing next to you. Whatever capacity inviting in the zebra. To reinforce this personal power. This sovereignty of your divine energy. And nobody is going to take that. Nobody is going to knock you off from that. Nobody is allowed to fiddle with that. That you are in your sacredness, in your truth. And the zebra is really going to lock that in for you. So if you resonate with this, then sending some gratitude to the zebra. Thank you for being my ally. Thank you for being this spirit energy of service. Thank you for helping. Thank you for supporting. And then I just invite you in for a moment to ask any last questions that you have of the Zebra energy. Is there anything that you would like to ask this spirit guide? Anything personal for yourself? And you can see what the Zebra says in reply. You can also notice what the zebra does. It might be a metaphor, some kind of energy that she's with. down your energy to end and complete the session. So locking in and integrating all of the energies for your highest good and discarding what no longer serves. And then sense, feel or imagine that you have very delicate energy coming in, just touching around your physical body. It's as if a light cloud softly descends very close to your skin, as if you are being like delicately snuggled by a cloud. And this is Spirit, the Mother Divine, coming in and giving you the warmest delicate embrace. She hugs you in the womb of love as if being touched by a cloud, by a million feathers on a beautiful feather bed that around the top of your head, the back of it, all down around your shoulders, around your your belly, across your chest, round your hips, round your legs, snuggling the bottom of your feet, that you have this divine warmth just holding you, holding you in love, in peace, in reverence. around you, is within you, working to you, as you, through you, and the more that you consciously ask spirit to work through you, the more conscious 
consciously aware you are of this in each moment. You are a vessel for divine love, dropping deeper into the truth of love in each moment, sinking into your body. How does love want to be and express in the world right now through you? Fair. 